Hey guys, it's Edward, and today I'll be showing you the first look of Windows 8 Professional. Windows 8 just got released this morning, actually, on the 26th of October, and I purchased it this morning and just finished installing it um, a couple hours ago. So I haven't really gotten too much time to play with it yet, um, but I will after I make this video. Um, so on the bottom left-hand corner, you can probably already see there's no start button. But there is a start menu or dashboard or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you click the bottom left hand corner, it takes you to your start menu or your desktop. And you can switch back and forth. But uh, this is the Windows 8 start menu. Um, as you can see, there's tiles, and you can drag these around to customize them according to your liking. And this is currently customized to my liking, but I will eventually add more. Um, and there's a lot of settings you can change. Um, you can change it by going to your top right hand corner where it says your name, click on it, then click on change account picture, and it'll take you to your settings. And this is the settings where you get to personalize, customize your Windows 8 experience. Uh, so there's also many apps you can download for Windows 8 by going to the store and you can download free apps or paid apps um, I got Skype this morning as I found that it looked pretty cool um, and I have Skype right here so um, there's also Bing Maps which I kind of liked it's pretty cool, um, but I still I'm still used to Google Maps, but um, but you know it's fine that's on there. Um, there's also let's see, calendar, which says I'm not signed into my Microsoft account, which I will in a little bit. Uh, there's SkyDrive if you have SkyDrive. There's Maps which I just showed you. There's desktop where you click it and it goes to your desktop. Click the bottom left hand corner the tile and it takes you back to your start menu. And I have all these apps right here installed because I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 8. Um, and it was a pretty successful upgrade. Um, I didn't have to do much, um, just sat, let my computer sit there and do the upgrading. Um, so, yeah, that's. That's basically it. Um, if you're planning to go get Windows 8, I highly recommend you get it. But if you're not really that used to looking at the start menu or the start dashboard, then I think you should stay with Windows 7. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.